Hello, welcome back to another video. This weekend I'm doing a short bikepacking trip. I just left Swindon in the morning and then now I'm heading to Bristol where I meet my friend Alexi and then we're going to head down to the Quantocks from there. Uh, yeah, and just bivy on the hills there somewhere. Yeah, just trying to fit in as many trips before the weather gets too cold for bivying. Luckily it does look quite nice weather though, so hopefully it shouldn't be too cold at night. But I've only got my summer sleeping bag, so, so I think it will be a little bit chilly. But yeah, fingers crossed. This is actually the first time I'm going on my road bike with bikepacking bags for quite a while. I don't think I've really done any this year. I think I've only ever taken my gravel or mountain bike this year with bikepacking bags, so yeah, it's quite nice to be on the road bike again. It definitely feels a lot faster. And yeah, trying out a new Apidura saddlebag which so far seems to be working quite well. I'm really happy with it. So I was just saying I was on the road bike and then just came across this. Luckily there's a little path to have to go to the forward. <laughs> Misty, misty. As you can probably tell with all the graffiti and the busy roads, just arriving into Bristol now. Uh, I've got a couple of hours before I meet Alexi, so, so I'm just going to quickly catch up with my sister and probably grab some food as well. After a quick stop in Bristol, I met up with Alexi and headed out over the Benlips and down the iconic Cheddar Gorge. Once we had reached the coast and not being able to resist some seaside chips, we rode up onto the Quantocks as the sun was setting and set up our bivvies. After a surprisingly warm night for October, we began riding across Somerset in the early morning dusk. Our route went east, following several cycle routes and country lanes. Before our route divided in Bath, there was one last excitement of the weekend adventure, riding through the two tunnels cycleway. One of the tunnels is 1.6 kilometres long, which is the UK's longest tunnel you can cycle through. I'm 
just cycling through Wiltshire now, heading back to Swindon, and I've got around 20 kilometres left. Um, I just sort of a bit of an extra loop to make it up to 200 kilometres today. So yeah, my legs are feeling a little bit now, but it's such a lovely day, so sunny. back into Swindon now. It's been quite nice, the last about 30 kilometres have all been quite flat and then the last section I did through the Cotswold Water Park which again was nice and flat which has been quite nice. It's nice to get in these short weekend adventures whilst it's still vaguely light in the evenings and yeah we're really lucky with the weather especially during the night it barely got down to like 13 degrees. Yeah, thanks for watching, hope you enjoy this little weekend adventure. Thank you.